Today's lesson is on accuracy, precision, and error. In chemistry, it's important that the measurements are both accurate and precise. Accuracy is how close to the true value your measurement is, and precision is how close a set of measurements are to each other. These two terms are often misused. measurements above show accuracy. Well, remember, accuracy is how close you are to the true value. So the true value was 5.3. So which of these is closest to 5.3? Well, it's the one that has 5.3 in it. So that option would be C. Now remember, accuracy is just getting close to the right answer. So if you've got exactly the right answer, then you are very accurate. Which measurements above show precision? Again, precision is that the measurements have to be close to each other. So which measurements are closest to each other? All right, that would be option B, because you have 5.42, 5.41, and 5.4. They're all 5.4, and then some have an extra digit. But they're not accurate because they're not close enough to the actual value. Which measurements show neither accuracy nor precision? That would be A, because the measurements are pretty far apart from each other, 5, 6, and 5.5, and they're also really far away from the true value of 5.3. Which measurements show both? In this case, there is no answer. None of these show both accuracy and precision. In order to show both, you'd have to have the right answer, and the measurements would have to be close to each other. Say maybe 5.3, 5.29, 5.31, something like that. Okay, you try this problem. The mass of a bottle of water is known to be 44.0 grams. Which set of measurements is both accurate and precise? Answer would be A. A is both accurate and precise. Again, it's 44.0. So here we have 44.0. We did have an extra digit. That just means that our balance was more um, had, had more digits than the one that was used to measure the true value. Um, 44.1 and 43.9 are both very close to 0 0.0. They're off by that one digit. between the accepted or true value and the experimental value. To calculate error, we take the absolute value of the accepted minus experimental values. Right. This value is always positive because we've taken the absolute value of that. And then we can find the percent error, which is what we will mostly find in um, lab activities. Take your error that you calculate from the difference divided by the accepted times 100. This equation for percent error and error are not in your reference tables, so you must know this equation. We will work on problems like this in class tomorrow, and you also will be able to do this in your lab. 